hello everyone welcome back this video is all about this bag which is the newest in my collection the dior book tote in 12 de Jus. it's in the size medium i've used this for one week straight right after i unboxed it last month may and i'm going to include the link of the video in the description box below if you're interested to watch and of course for your convenience i believe that one week would be enough for me to make an initial or partial review as well as to give you an idea in case you don't have one in your collection been wanting to have one but couldn't decide or pull the trigger due to the material which is fabric let alone embroidery and perhaps due to size or weight versatility practicality of this bag especially the price which is so expensive for a fabric tote bag also uh, there are questions on durability longevity and so on but before i continue i would like to welcome you if you are new to this channel i do luxury fashion and lifestyle related contents so if you are interested in this kind of topics please do subscribe and hit the bell on for new videos thank you so much for your love and support now if you've been watching my videos you'd know i'm not a fan of tote or big bags in fact i only have one piece uh one tote bag in my collection which is this prada right here it's called the python rocha and it's a limited edition prada only made six bags like this in the whole world that was uh, what the sa told me when i was in new york to buy the bag back in 2014 it's a nine-year-old bag but it's still in very good condition because i took care of it just like I do with my all other bags. This stunning tote is crafted of luxurious natural fine python leather, fabulous for daytime or evening necessities with the stylist sophistication from the fashion house. The only issue with this piece is that I couldn't use it on a regular basis like an everyday tote if I need to use one or when I travel since I fear that it gets sweat when caught in the rain or exposed to direct sunlight. It can not also tolerate alkaline exposure, grease, or chemical uh, stain thus the risk of damaging the python skin so with these concerns i decided to get another one let me just put this back to conceal the ring light <laughs> the dior book tote i think is not even the perfect option but i succumbed i'm a fan of tuology that's why i also got this pair of uh, dior d way slides in tuology i wear this a lot so comfortable great for a long walk for plain outfits and cute pattern anyway i've been wanting to get this piece for a while despite the cons like the weight it is heavy even without anything inside there's no compartment which allows you to organize your essentials so you will definitely need a bag insert or organizer having said that i just got an organizer from zumoni i'll show you later what's in my bag rather than what fits in because i don't carry as much this the your book tote medium can fit a lot like your laptop book or books water bottles umbrella etc and another con is the material which is fabric unlike uh, canvas or leather this will likely show more wear and tear it is an embroidered bag so the embroidery or stitches would probably uh, unravel in a short period of time especially in the corners but this doesn't have any wear and tear yet because it's still uh, new and uh, along or around the edges and uh, of course the handles but you know it is what it is it's bound to happen so you just have to be more careful in handling it it is also prone to dirt and stains that's why i wrap the handles with twillies for protection these mitza twillies are from dior as well really pretty prints and color combinations also this bag is overpriced it isn't priced like your average uh, run of the mill weekend market tote. So if you worry about the stitches running over time, get a canvas tote or leather. <laughs> the only leather material in this piece is actually this tag which says Christian Dior. Uh, made in Italy. Now the good point 
of this boot tote is that you can carry it over your shoulder without problems and you can do that with a small version the small version has short handles the large on the other hand will look awkward over the shoulder because it's too big the medium size is more functional as it is iconic and it essentially works as a carry-all for travel or daily use it is so beautiful she's a work of art and very ladylike the design is unique and stand out. I'm so happy I chose this particular color as it works pretty much with everything that I have in my wardrobe. I tried to opt for blacks, whites, beige, and navies. So, is it worth the price? Definitely not. But I do love it and it makes my heart sing. So, it's up to you guys. If you want to have one in your collection as well then go for it so now i'm going to show you what's in my bag These are just my basic or daily essentials. Like I mentioned, I don't carry as much. So here I have my black caviar Chanel wallet, my six key ring holder, which is my favorite as well, and my recto verso. I've done a review about this card holder. Of course, my favorite catch-all pouch. The mini pochette from Louis Vuitton in the Mie Iben. I have an Hermes lipstick, a nail oil from CND, a hand cream from L'Occitane, and a sanitizer. And of course, this travel kit uh, perfume spray from Louis Vuitton, which I really, really love. And lastly, this cloth pin for emergency purposes. A MAC Fix Plus setting spray for the face. It makes your sure makeup lasts longer. A ponytail. I love this ponytail. I bought this from Japan Resort World. This pouch is from Ideal. I use it for my charger and my earphones. An umbrella, it's foldable, great for uh, rainy or sunny days. So there you go guys thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed if you did please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and of course i'll see you in my next one bye